3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Фига собі їх там. Ух, то вони двері з череплі познімали, щоб крадені холод. Все, ми вже тут. Почули хробаки, спробували. На! Ну а далі кіної німці. Браунінський рух. Лайф. Мені та автівка нагадала Деллоріан з фільму «Назад в майбутнє». У фокусі п'ятниця 27-го, що заслуговують оприлюднення. Поїхали. О, то справді масова сцена. Хробача би... Арта навалила. Дивіться. Тут розпаковка. Рахуємо. Раз, два, три, чотири, п'ять, шість, сім, вісім, дев'ять, десять, одинадцять. Фіга собі їх там на... Ух! Надкощики. FPV команди Вормбастер. Тахів Мадяра вже тут. Він не бачить повні кусти хробаків. І ось там вони сидять. І лупить в бубен ББМці. Пеууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууууу
to the reduction of Russia's military potential and to the creation of preconditions for further changes in Russia itself, Kuzan says. As the former advisor to the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense notes, it is the army and other security structures of Russia that form the backbone of Putin's authoritarian regime, which is why the main intelligence directorate of Russia, GUR, is betting on such processes, having a network of agents in the Russian armed forces and other state and security structures of the system. Kuzan recalls how a career Russian officer, Daniel Alfarov, was recruited in 2023. This man convinced 11 Russian servicemen to surrender to the Ukrainian armed forces, and in August 2024, as a result of a successful operation codenamed Reeds, the headquarters of enemy officers was blown up and the executor of the operation, a Russian officer, subsequently went over to the side of Ukraine. The material says, the media also reported various acts of sabotage on Russian territory, including sabotage on the railway and the blowing up of bridges used to transport military cargo. On April 8, 2024, the GUR announced sabotage on board the Russian small missile ship Serpukov of Project 21631 Buyan M, as a result of which the communication and automation systems were destroyed. The ship, a carrier of the Kinzhal and Onyx cruise missiles, was at the Russian naval base in Baltisk, Kaliningrad Oblast, and according to the main intelligence directorate, could have been deployed to reinforce the Russian Black Sea Fleet. The details of the operation were kept secret for several months. The explosion on the ship was carried out by a former Russian sailor at the Baltic Fleet under the pseudonym Goga, who had access to state secrets, notes Kuzan. He believes that the facts of the presence of Russians in the Ukrainian armed forces and the recruitment of Russian servicemen by Ukrainian intelligence not only undermine the Russian propaganda thesis about Nazism in Ukraine, but also serve as an example for other Russian military personnel who do not agree with the actions of the Kremlin. At the moment, it is precisely this kind of resistance to the Kremlin that produces real, tangible results that affect Russia's military potential. It is precisely this kind of resistance that Ukraine's partners should rely on, the political figure emphasizes.